Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad Taste in Music. I got all the lists I wanted to get done uh, done with. I didn't do best songs this year. I planned on doing it and then I planned on not doing it. So uh, now I guess we're going to the point where I guess this is a series now uh, that I'm doing and I'm going to be reacting to uh, Fantano's worst songs and I want to compare my list with his. Now you may be asking, Bradley, aren't you too big to be dick riding uh, Fantano like this? There's, hey, okay. You know what they say, all right? I I don't know what they say, but anyways, I'm curious what his top 10 worst songs are. For every song he's going to be talking about, I'm going to be listening to the song, I'm going to be giving my opinion on it. Uh, so let's go. Worst songs of the year, there were quite a few. Yep, a lot of worst songs this year. Yep, a lot of worst ones, but we're just going to talk about 10 in this video because that's all my little heart could take. Uh -huh -huh. I did 30, all right? And it was hard to cut it down to 30. It really was. You know, it's funny looking at this list before I tell you guys, th there are definitely some trends going on among all of these tracks that uh, uh, make, make this batch of songs interesting. It's like things couldn't necessarily suck in a variety of ways. There needed to be some very like condensed and, and almost like uh, trendy kinds of suck. That okay, so I'm guessing what he's referring to here is the uh, trend of turning children's songs into uh, edgy pop music so i'm expecting a lot of that that uh, made made a lot of these tracks suck so, there's certainly a theme going on with the first track we're going to talk about at number 10 that is uh, the notorious big with goat a track that feels odd to talk about what is okay before he says anything about it i'm gonna listen to it okay first thing i notice is it's a biggie small song featuring ty dolla sign Alright, so it's a grave pisser track, basically. Uh, the, the sampling of his vocals sounds terrible. Sounds like they literally pulled it out of, like, uh, of a trash can. Uh, just some old Biggie verse. I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know why this is. Yeah, I. Yeah, that's okay. So it's it's an embarrassing posthumous release. Understood. So I think the theme with uh, this song here is stop ruining things. If he was handed this song in the studio, he would want to have nothing to fucking do with it. Biggie's vocals don't even sound properly mixed into the instrumental. They, they, they're they struggling to be heard. They feel really thin as well, almost as if they were like ripped off of a, you know, a bad YouTube upload or something. Did we not have like a good quality <laughs> original recording if we didn't? So that's our number 10 spot. At our number nine spot, right. we are kind of running with the same theme. Stop ruining things. That would be with the uh, Lizzo single song, uh, Girls, which features a prominent interpreter. Okay, so I actually like this song. I don't believe it ruins the sample. I think it's uh, it's fun. Okay, god damn it. Uh, I actually like this one. I'm, I'm one of the sole defenders of this too. It's like, I think I even have the uh, song saved. I think it's a fun song. I, I do. I, I really don't hate this one. But I have to come through and say that, and I, and I have to show you that I like this song uh, through that. So. Interpolation of the Beastie Boys song Girls, which, love that track. But Lizzo utterly squanders her use of this track and uh, the song's amazing and very quirky melody with uh, horrendous, unfunny lyrics. Really one of her cringiest vocal performances on any record so far, which I, I'm kind of surprised by because I, I've loved much of Lizzo's material. At number eight, we have the MGK track A featuring hey, Lil Wayne, the hey. theme a, it was so funny is like these songs, like I defended uh, A in my worst songs video as I just definitely, it's not the worst MGK single, I feel like. I mean, he already put paper cuts, I don't know, maybe in like worst of the decade. That song I think is worse, I don't know, but it's the single and it's got Lil Wayne on it, so. I wrote a letter to myself, A, 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 A. 
my hair off like Britney. Sprinkle dust like a pixie. Wipe my nose like it's itchy. Hey. Uh, what am I kidding? It's still pretty bad. Uh, but then you got Lil Wayne, and I actually think Lil Wayne does somehow significantly worse. When I'm this high, I, I just look at Lil Who is this, this guy? guy? I mean, it's bad, but I don't think it's one of the worst of the year. It's it's like there's been way worse, even from MGK. So, you know, I feel like this is just sort of an easy target. Like, I know a lot of people from this album cycle were really pissed off about Emo Girl and so on and so forth, but at least there's, like, a tune and a topical focus there. At number seven, it is the David Guetta and uh, BB Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to show the screen. My bad. At number seven, it is the David Guetta and uh, BB Rex track, I'm Good Blue. Uh, the theme of Stop Ruining Things is returning on this one. So this is a good pick. I don't hate it that much. I if I would personally choose the single that uh, David Guetta released with the Black Eyed Peas, but I feel like Anthony hasn't even subjected himself to that. It's also very popular. Again, I have no emotional investment in the original song. Um, I feel like this song really starts getting bad once you hear BB Rex's extremely processed and auto-tuned vocals. No matter where I go, it's a good time. But I think the David, uh, the David Getta be here is actually all right, um, even though it is just kind of cheaply uh, grabbing a sample. But yeah, no, the song you did with the Black Eyed Peas. Oh my God, this song is bad. See, this one's an interpolation of Bob Marley. By the Black Eyed Peas. It's gonna be all be all right. Thumbs up vibe, ready for the night. Lit like a light, about to take flight. Get higher than a kite. Float on the floating on the sky. Look, mama, I could fly. I feel so alive. I'ma live my best life. Let's just listen to the original, better version instead. Number six is uh, the track from UK rapper Central C, Doja. This track has a few different themes of it. So. Um, this one I laughed at when I first heard it because I thought it was a joke, um, but I don't think it's a joke, and this song is really annoying. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Try to see a man topless, even a stick is gay. I mean, I don't know if it's trying to be homophobic, but it's just awkward. Uh, one, we had a lot of coattail riding in 2022 where artists, in order to uh, advance and improve their search engine and streaming platform SEO, uh, would name their tracks uh, after much more popular artists. So there was that, and I hate that trend. It's shitty and it's stupid, and if you had any actual talent or anything to say, you wouldn't need to title your song after someone one that your track is barely even the fuck about. This is so tacky and awful, and honestly, the first time I heard this track, I, I just shut it off after uh, the opening line. I just shut it off. Right, we have a new one from Central C, Doja. It's a short one. How can I be homophobic? Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna skip that. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Sucks ass. At number five, this one hurts. This one hurts, because it's a song from what I think is one of the better bands out there right now. I've okay, enjoyed yeah. this group's um, music for quite a while now. Given This is a good pick. This is a, kind of a sleeper pick. I actually listened to that song and not the album because I was curious due to the extremely negative reception of the track. Uh, and it's just a super lame and tacky song from Ghost that feels way below their uh, ability. Oh, it's 20s. It's just 20s, not roaring 20s. <laughs> I mean, the mix sounds super sloppy for an artist of this caliber, where it feels like even with it throwing everything at the wall, it doesn't really land. But I feel like as soon as the vocals come in, uh, it, it sounds like literally like I've defended Ghost and said, you know, some people are like, oh, it's like theater core bullshit. You'd hate it. I'm like, eh. But then this actually is like pretty close to uh, that that title of theater core. Listen up. It's just really awkward. Oh, we're gonna grab him up by the hoo-ha! They got too silly with it. It sounds like Art Deco Clown Metal. At number four, put Muse's Will of the People. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah, this song. Oh, so this one was pretty high up on my list, too. Happy to see that, uh, 
that Fantano has uh, a good understanding of taste here. Anyways, it's Ford Truck Corps, if you heard that. It goes off on generic lyrics about how we're gonna overthrow the government or some shit. God damn it, this song is so annoying. The will of the people, the will of the people! Like, what were they thinking? The instrumental is disgustingly derivative, as are the lyrics, because the refrain and the drums just feel like they were lifted from Marilyn Manson's beautiful people. The will of the people, the will of the people, the will of the people. Like, please. Number three, that would be Kid Rock with we the people, we got- Yes! <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh god, do I have- Dude, if Kid Rock is number three, I don't even know what the rest of this shit is. We the people is, uh, way worse than Don't Tell Me How to Live. Is Don't Tell Me How to Live is entertainingly bad. We the people is just bad. Uh, it's got shouts of Let's Go Brandon for the chorus. Um, but I'll, I'll play you my favorite line. Wear your mask, take your pills, now a whole generation's mentally ill! Uh, yeah, that song's bad. To it, annoying and crappy politics with Muse, with Kid Rock, and with our second over here, our number two. Uh, that would be Tom McDonald and Adam yes. Calhoun with New World Order. Yeah, like if you ever wanted to hear. Okay, I'm curious what he thinks about this shit, cause uh, I mean, I, I already know, you know, but but at the same time, I I I didn't think he'd ever bring back up Tom McDonald because the guy just thrives on negative attention. Oh, uh, this is another one that was on my list. Um, I, I'm not gonna play it. I'm just gonna brief over, uh, with, with this line, um, racism is gay. If you're offended, that's retarded. Speak your mind and you're a target. Blame racists for the racist racism, but only if their skin is white. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a man paints his face, face black. He's a racist piece of garbage, but you put him in a dress and he's courageous and he's gorgeous. Uh, so if you want to hear any of those lines... <laughs> go ahead and go to that song. I'm 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 done with it. I I put I closed the box when I finished my list. Sad, probably racist white guys. Tom McDonald literally likens a uh, gun ownership uh, to fire extinguisher ownership. Are you saying that if we allow people to own fire extinguishers, they're gonna go on um, mass fire extinguishings? <laughs> Are you saying that because uh, we could all own fire extinguishers if we wanted, we don't need a fire department, so we should all like be vigilante firefighters and just have uh, fire extinguishers on our persons, like open carry fire extinguishers <laughs> wherever we go? So yeah, that's our number two spot. No number one, Leah Kate. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little bitch. That's what it's gonna be. Number one, uh, this one comes pretty much hype-wise uh, right off the TikTok platform. And hey, we we gotta we gotta talk about that because everybody these days they they hate TikTok. That's cool to do, hating TikTok. But no, really, this song did pop off over there. Uh, we covered it on the Fantano channel as well. Of course, I'm talking about Leah Kate's Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Bitch. Just another narcissist. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I don't really know the theme for this song. Like, uh, uh, infantilizing uh, the audience and the artist, uh, bad TikTok music, and bad pop punk. And she's 30, and there you go. Uh, another one where I could just say it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but uh, adultified and pop punk and cringe. So, yeah, uh, I do believe that there are songs that were worse than a good handful that were picked here. Um, a couple of these tracks I am a, a little bit uh, more lenient on, so, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, if you guys like the video, if you want to see me continue to do this, uh, let me know. If not, also let me know. All right, that's about it. I, I got nothing else.